Now, in a few previous videos, I discussed just how versatile the machete is in a wilderness environment and setting, whether that wilderness is Alaska or Arizona. The machete can conquer just about any environment and many, many different situations and things that befall you. So I thought that I would have to cover or at least try to make an ultimate survival machete. Now, in a similar way to my previously mentioned ultimate survival knife, I don't think that there's any way to rig one simple tool to conquer every single situation or setting and if it was up to me I would probably go in with a machete and probably a saw if I had to try to keep it on a very minimalist basis but ultimately I would try to go for a machete a smaller knife something like a more Eldris and something like a Silky Gomboy or a Baku Laplander so without any further ado, let's break this down. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more Alaskan content just like this. So starting off with the actual tool itself, we are looking at the Condor Bushcraft Parang. And of course, I have a lanyard on the Parang so that if I need to, I can work my hand through there and have a better grip. But this thing is pretty good out of out of box it can conquer many different things comes very sharp and ready to go so next to that of course is a sheath now this sheath is nothing spectacular but I didn't want to go with anything super custom or fancy or ultimately unattainable for you guys so with the base with with the base sheath what I chose to do was take about 10 feet of paracord and tie it up to the pre-existing lanyard holes there so that way I have a good amount of paracord to work with and yeah so that's pretty basic pretty simple usually just kind of tuck it up under behind the sheath so it's not in the way then up here in this natural kind of pouch for probably a sharpening stone I tried to my hardest to weasel the ferro rod that I wanted to use with this uh, machete. Now it didn't quite fit so that's why I had the lanyard behind or interwoven with that button but I also have a lanyard and I also have a ferro rod and this is from firesteels.com and it works pretty well as you guys can as you guys can see as you guys can see there it works pretty okay nothing too spectacular too crazy but certainly enough to start a fire i don't want to burn my uh, ground cloth here so i won't try too many more times but that is the ferro rod itself works pretty well with the machete so ultimately it's nothing super crazy but i think some of the easiest things that you can add to a sheath to make your knife or even your machete more versatile and better equipped for survival situations is a decent amount of cordage preferably paracord so that you can use inner strands and outer strands uh, or the outer shell and inner strands to affect your survival with cordage and also having something like a ferro rod for combustion so this way you can cover your cover your basic survival needs fire and shelter with greater ease and greater uh, speed so that is the primary reason why I focus on cordage combustion and cutlery as my three primary five C's to focus on because in a real survival situation when you're trying to last for the first 72 hours when uh, search and rescue is going to be looking their hardest you want to focus on staying alive for that brief amount of time so going after things like food and water are not as important as focusing on fire and shelter and if you have a machete a ferro rod and a bit of uh, cordage you should be able to build a fire and build a small realistic survival shelter with pretty good ease so anyways guys that is my ultimate survival machete setup Hopefully you guys like this video, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.